Right, so welcome to the stream everyone. Today we will be playing Super Mario Maker again. And hopefully we will not have any annoying microphone cutouts this time. I'm still trying to figure out how and why and when are in regards to the stream. And hopefully I will make it right one of these days. So, while I make myself comfortable by chucking every single other controller out of my couch, because I've been trying this capture card with uh, the PlayStation 2 and the GameCube, so, yeah. We will be heading into Super Mario Maker, and we will be playing shit today. In fact, I think we are going to go to Coors World, and... Once there, I think we're gonna try, since I haven't gotten the codes in the chat yet, uh, our high score on the easy setting is 8 levels. We're gonna see if we can break that. Hopefully we can do just that, and let's go. Now, I'm trying to avoid having double, double feed from uh, while wearing a shoe, yeah. Oh, that shoe is... Get back... Oh, apparently everyone dies on trying to reach that Goomba shoe. Let's see if we can't persuade it to... Okay, so we got the Goomba shoe. How do I drive this thing? Uh, no, I don't want to jump out of the Goomba shoe. Thank you very much. How? Okay, so basically I have to try and drop... Yeah, every single other person seems to have felt that... Yeah, dropping down onto your doom! is the way to go in this level. So, uh... Thank you, Goomba Shoe. Obviously, the right answer is probably that I'll have to abandon the Goomba Shoe. Either that, or there is a... Let's see what happens if we abandon the Goomba Shoe. Yeah, there's another, there's another one. It's actually a Goomba... Goomba Lady Boot in... Oh, and obviously we probably need to defeat... This guy for the key, thank you. We got it, nice. So far, so good. Oh god, not again. We need to evacuate and... Oh, come on! I'm just trying to get rid of the shoe here. The horrible, horrible Goomba shoe that doesn't seem... This really seems to have a mind of its own at this point. No! I don't want to die! No, not what I got so far! God damn it. I'm running out of lives quick here. Yeah, I don't want to skip this one because obviously... The ironic thing is you can just as well skip this shoe. This shoe is fucking bait. You don't, you don't basically need it. Of course, it's nice to sit in a Goomba shoe, but... But it's still bait. I mean, you don't need it. You only grab it because you know you, you, you hear from the course that you uh, are that you're going to need a boot. Oh, come on, that's just unfair. I tried to lay down fire on him, but I failed. God damn it! This. I hate these kinds of levels. These kinds of levels where you 
get the impression that, hey, this isn't difficult at all. You can do this. And then you can't, for some ungodly reason. I mean, the reason is different every time, but I just feel that, hey, why is this happening to me? So... Yes, I want the shoe, please. Oh, fuck. We lost the shoe, but... We defeated the evil one. The unholy one. And we got his key to his red domain. And we unlocked the red domain for our own u horrible use. I can see making an eternity out of basically just jumping on that shit. Alright, so we made it past. Oh, there, there, there's the shoe! There's the shoe! God damn it! We got it! Nice! Not too soon, either. Sorry if I haven't been keeping tabs on chat, but we got a cool clay out of that, and that's worth something. Considering the top score and uh, what we got, we didn't really do the best we could. It's a go! It's a go! Oh, so this is a Japanese map. And there is no puns or anything that can... Well, that was a quick one. Very quick one. Three seconds is uh, the fastest time anyone has cleared that map. I say again, three seconds. And I don't think that's impossible in the slightest. Okay, so this one is called Desert Treasures Part 1. Let's grab some coins. We need, we need cash, man. Okay, so there's something going on here. Well, we better get down there again and see what we are missing. So we're missing something at least. Yeah, it's locked. I'm getting that. And we can't... We can't pass this one. We need to find a door to some to somewhere else, basically. But this thing is not helping us in that regard. I'm trying to figure out if there's something here I might have missed. There doesn't seem to be any way of actually getting past this regardless. I'm gonna see if there's anything in the, in the moves that I might actually have missed here. Let's see here. Move, high jump, crouch, and the pipe, swim, descend, throw bi fireball, slide down slope, throw object, drop object, middle spin, triple jump, 
Ground pound. Yeah, I think the ground pound is what we're looking for here. And of course I missed all about how to do it. The ground pound is basically uh, left down while midair. Yeah, that was what we were supposed to do. Ouch. I don't know if, the, if there's supposed to be a door there. Oh, we'll have to go around. God damn it. Thank you. Oh, this is a P door. Alright, so go! Death to Koopas! So far, so good. Yes, we got the key! Enter the room of treasures! And get all the treasures in the world. We have plenty of time to do that. I need the coins, bro! I'm a Mario, bro! I need the coins! Come on! Give them to me now! God damn it! I'll just have to jump further if I can't. There we go! Let's see where we're ending up if we're going through this pipe. Sweet! More money! All the money. Crawling through the tubes. And of course, that fucker is back again. I don't want that fucker to be back again. Yes, get away from my path, you horrible, horrible blocks of doom. The fact that I have reached the checkpoint does not, by any stretch of the imagination, mean I wish to use it. And it also means that the player, or rather, map creator, has this impression that there... Oh look, a POW block. I'm not gonna go for or opening the door, I'm gonna go for finishing the course. So we got a couple of one-ups there. That's a nice thing to use. Actually, I like it. It took me a while to complete, but I can't say I dislike it. In fact, that was a pretty nice map. All right, welcome Autocast Self to the stream, and I will actually quit this and I'll play yours right now. I was merely using that mode as a warm-up and it might have been a rather easy warm-up because historically I have not been all that good with um, Playing other people's uh, maps. So, Azure team, additional operators have just arrived. Yes, and there goes the John Clark bot. Okay, I'm gonna die, ain't I? I get this horrible feeling that I am going to die. Low effort, Max Bowser. That sounds like me dying. I can't imagine this ending. <laughs> the fact that it's short doesn't mean I won't die. Holy shit. 
God damn it. I made it further than I expected on the onset at least. So, god damn it. My two least favorite things in this game are Bowser Fire and Hammer Bros. So just add a couple of Hammer Bros onto this one and I will hate you for all eternity. I mean, I don't know if you were present. Oh! Why the fuck did I have to die there? I know I probably had not made it past all of them, but it felt like I had at least made it past quite a few of them. So yeah, I will be playing yours next. Button Basher 2015. In fact, Button Basher is a lot of what I am currently doing. I mean, I never feel like there's any technique behind me playing Mario. Instead, it is simply button mashing and it ends up in me dying. Yeah, old bro, I'll add it to the list. Uh, however, uh, since the list is now growing, it also means that I cannot try anyone's level infinitely. So I'll give this a couple of more tries and hopefully it means that I will be making it. But at some point, it feels like... I don't know if you had that feeling with a game where you end up almost completing it and then you basically lose your entire... You lose your entire grow for the entire level. That is basically how I'm feeling right now, because I have no idea about how this map is made up. I could just as easily be wrong, uh, but it felt like I had almost completed it. But that impression is probably horribly wrong. I mean, whoever made this obviously wants me to suffer. I mean, if I was one of you guys who came into a stream that offered to play my Mario levels, I would not pick the easy Mario levels that I had. And here I was thinking I could actually jump on that guy. Alright, so we're giving this two more attempts, and if I fail, I will fail miserably. But um, at least I seem to be in good company with that, because this one had a 0% clear rate. Uh, then again, usually all you need to have a lot of players play your map is um, the, f the only thing you usually need is that someone else would have to just go up and play it so that uh, and th I have to say this for this map it's addicting because it feels like every time I understand the concept of this map. You have to swing between the between uh, the fireballs. You can't hit the fireballs. You can't hit the bowsers. And the fact that I understand the concept but can't execute a proper solution is what makes it just one more attempt. Just one more attempt. This so th at least from that perspective, it's good map design. But so I'm gonna give that one a like. But I'm gonna go to the next torture on the next uh, the next torture you have planned for me last night was all torture and let's see here that was button basher we had next that was q 7 p and xpg So, again, I didn't feel there was anything wrong with that map, but I would probably have needed like 10 or 15 minutes more just to nail down the pattern pr perfectly. And the Bowser Fireballs, I've learned in other ways, they track your movement. So the fact that you are a small Mario actually helps. Alright, so let's see this one. As usual, I'm going in blind. So the world record is 5 Minutes. Shifting Sandland. Super Mario 64 Remix. Explore this Super Mario 4 64 inspired level to collect 100 coins. Now, what I played... Uh, when I played um, Super, uh, the Nintendo 64, I played like Rogue Squadron. I played like... Um, I played Rogue Squadron. I played Shadows of the Empire. Lilith Wars. Pokemon Stadium. I never actually touched Super Mario 64. Shifting Sandland. So. 
reach the goal after grabbing at least 100 points. Yeah, not touching that Koopa Pyramid. Not at all. One day you will see. Well, people say that Super Mario Odyssey is a nice game, and I have it, but I haven't actually played it. And that's a, that's actually sad, because when it comes to Super Mario Odyssey, I can recognize it as a good game, because it's just that I have s such other fun titles, and whatever you can say about Super Mario, Super Mario Maker, I don't think I played for anything else but torturing myself and nostalgia. And no, you will not come closer. Alright, so how... The arrow basically tells me to go over this. Uh, pro that's going to be a problem. But we'll see if we can... Yes! That actually went far better than it should have. It had no right going that well. So let's set off an... A bomb there. Can't break those. Up we go. Yay, mushrooms! More drugs for Mario. Oh yeah, we'll need a hundred coins as well. And no, you may not. You may not set me off up the bomb. God damn it! They'll just try and set me off. Set me up the bomb every single one of them. Okay, so the pyramid seems to have most of the coins. And I can't break it with the downward jump. Instead, I'll have to go in here. Thank you. And we have a P there. No, obviously I shall not pass because th I'm trying to reach that P thing. And that is probably going to be a lot more tricky than I want it to be. Up we go. But at least I'm alive. Uh, we're I didn't actually mean to get out, out of there, but maybe that's actually a good thing. Y yeah, I imagine so, but come on, you fucking Goomba, you can't... The problem is, ah, uh, yeah, there we go. <sighs> Let me guess, I'll have to grab it all over again now. There we go. Oh, and of course I threw it out in the fucking doomsday. Well, thanks for the mushroom. Oh god, fuck. <laughs> yeah, I have to do that all over again now. But I deserve that. I got greedy. I just got fucking greedy. So, there's... <sighs> Come on! I mean, once you have the groove and you lose because you get sloppy. Because that's what, that's what happened. That wasn't cruelty or any if anything wrong from the map maker side. That was me getting just plain old sloppy. But when you lose your groove like that, it's very easy to just think that, God damn it. So, we're gonna... Do you... Let's see if I can actually do this... Yes, I could actually do that again. I'm so happy I was able to repeat it. Because I wasn't actually sure... Oh god, no. It's a bomb. Someone set us up the bomb. Well, we're back. Stop trying to murder yourself, Mario. It's not helping. God damn it. And of course I made as 
way too short a jump there. And lost my fire flower. So we're back here. And god damn it. Hide! Oh, come off it. Let's see if we can make that thing reappear if we're fucking doomed. Yes, I will most likely not finish the level due to not collecting any coins, but I've actually already established last night that finishing the level without accomplishing the objective is sometimes good enough. Come on, I just had it. And then I realized I didn't actually need to do that. So we're giving this one more attempt. And then we will be playing the next one on the list. Or oh, wait. Yeah, we had Ord Pro. <sighs> yeah, that doesn't really count. We had Ord Pro with a fresh level that uh, we were... That we will try afterwards. So just because of that comment, I will probably do every single attempt I can to gather every single point in the entire world. And we're also going to abuse the donut blocks here. Because why the hell not? Don't worry. Unless I play a troll map, every single map I play will most likely give a like. And I have to say, I like the design of this one. And my, I don't really ha have any complaints. And if I had any complaints, I would probably just resort to profanity like everyone else. But uh, in this case, I like the design. I like the general feel of it. I like the fact that it's not too easy. Because uh, it's easy to just feel that, nah... A map that you didn't struggle on is never memorable. You, you get me on that? I mean, you have to have at least some challenge, and you, you've done a pretty nice challenge here. Yes, uh, I'll grab that one after the other one. Let's see here. Yeah, that, that really helped. Trying to break the coins. <sighs> oh yeah, I'll probably have to set set it up the bomb and use the bombs to uh, break the blocks. So come here, you little bomb. No, apparently that was not it. Unless I can somehow lure the bomb there. There's not. There's not something about. I. I don't think the. There is anything that you can really say is too hard. What you can say things are is too frustrating. Uh, but then again, it's it's a lot about what kind of people you are aiming your map towards. Because I have a couple of friends who are all. Uh, who, I have a couple of friends who really likes to make maps that are all about puzzles. Or all about speedruns. And if I play their maps, I, I'm pretty flabbergasted. I mean, we had this guy who basically... Oh god, no. We had this guy who basically spent an entire map just hiding one hidden... Oh, I forgot I had hidden the blocks. I forgot I've hidden the blocks. Yeah, so... Of course, I'm gonna give that one a like, and I'm going to go to the next one, which was, uh, let's see here. Um, I seem to have lost it in the backlog. Uh, yeah, Order Pro had a map for me, so uh, I'm gonna go for that one. That was uh, Q7. No, wait, that was not his. Sorry. Uh, six... Uh, four, six, three was his. Uh, VGP. And 5JF. Uh, 
Okay, so three coins in the in 30 seconds, the desert. With a world record of 22 seconds and a clear rate of 2%. Well, 3% if we round it upwards, and I prefer to round it upward. This is probably me going to die. Uh, reach all the goal after grabbing all, 30, all three coins. And of course, it's a... <laughs> This is going not. This is going to be very frustrating. Okay, so at least at least we got that one. But we are gonna run out of time if we can't reach that block. Yes, I have somewhat in. I have somewhat realized the the fact that I will die. In a way, I actually prefer the speedrun levels, uh, but that that is not that is not the true me. Uh, but the, the speedrun levels are usually easy once. <laughs> yeah, I realize that I do need a bit of patience here, but we we gotta grab the. I'm trying to see if there's any other obvious solution to this. Uh... But the fact that, that the clock is ticking, as soon as you add a, a ticking clock to a level, you are adding stress. And uh, I'm not going to say I'm not feeling stressed, because of course I'm fe feeling very stressed. It doesn't really help that uh, I haven't really mastered all the controls and the moves yet, so... Basically, I'm just a guy with a Switch who borrowed a capture card and now decided to stream his failures. So that that is what you guys are watching right now. And when it comes to these death blocks, I call them that after the Angry Video Game Adventures game. Uh, but I know they're really called spike traps. Uh, it's... Uh, it's a bit... <laughs> I'm gonna give this a couple of more tries, but I think this one is beyond me. Even if I knew the solution, I'm not sure I would... Oh, that was only because I said that. That was pure luck. I'm not gonna say that was. I'm not even. I'm not gonna pretend that was. Wait, I. I can. I can. I think I can actually repeat that. We'll see. God damn it! <laughs> God damn it! I. I still. Insist that was pure, pure luck. <sighs> Come off it. At least I'm not alone in dying there. So I, I I'm not alone in my horrible misery. <sighs> I need more speed coming out of that tunnel. And I just made it out of there as well. So frustrating. Well, let's see if we can. <sighs> you know, this map has its charm. But it's that kind of charm of at, at last figuring out something. Like Gandalf says, every clue until you have, like, the answer to it. All right. As soon as I fall down from the first donut block, I'm doomed. I really come to loathe the spike traps, and this level is not the reason for it. Every 
every time I think I'm safe, I just run into some other, other monstrosity. Oh, and of course I have to grab that fucking coin. Okay, now I have absolutely no... I, th I think you're right that I need to grab the second... <laughs> I think... Uh, I think you, you are perfectly right that I need to uh, both have a bit more patience and uh, that I need to go for the next donut block, but I have honestly no idea how. I mean, th this is this is uh, not really an addiction, but more of an obsession. It's like I need to complete at least some of the maps you're sending me. Yeah, the the the, the problem is not necessarily doing. <sighs> See, th this is the thing I'm talking about. I c I know I need to get up there, but the thing is that trying to actually do it. It's uh, very tricky for me. There we go. And now we are running very short on time. And if, the, if there's something this level does not give you, it's time. Just missed it. At least I got two coins, so I got that going for me, which is nice. Oh, I'm so fail moding this one. But li like I said, it's it's a bit addictive because I feel like I'm at least progressing, and that's probably not what I'm doing. Instead, I keep running into spike traps. Oh, come off it. <laughs> progress, yes. Yes, the horrible progress of murdering an Italian plumber a hundred times. That is my progress. Probably gonna have to ha apologize to Italy for that one. I mean, every single person playing Super Mario Maker owes an apology to Italy at this point. Alright, I had it with this one. But yeah, I do like it. It's hard not to like it. Because at least it's... Uh, I gotta see what uh, people have written on it. Beat it and how. So yeah, someone in Greece have obviously beaten the Italian foe. It was my pleasure. It was actually a pretty clever map, but um, I was not really up to the task. So, uh, if you have other maps, I might actually... Yeah, I'm not going to try that one. Dolly Malfunction. I don't know if I've actually played that one. I think I have... Oh, yes, I have played this one. Uh, I'm just going to play one of my mate's maps, uh, and then I will play yours out of cast self. Uh, this map... Is as I thought is all about this map is all about timing. The timing not to run into a Koopa Trooper at the edge of the screen. 
So instead, we murder the Goombas. And then we jump up here, and the camera is... ...have decided that it will Entry. not play ball with us. Additional today. operators have just arrived. Welcome to the stream. So, God- No! Fucking Koopa Trooper! So, god fucking damn it, you may not have wings. The good god Ninten Bowser of Nintendo has decreed you may not have wings. So we remove... Yeah, one of my, like I said, one of my mates actually made this one, and he's pretty, pretty skilled in the art of making maps. So... As you can notice, this one has a theme going on, which is the theme of the camera just shifting up, and you need to address it every time. You die now. You die too. So, there we go. Yes! Mushroom. Drugs for Italy, man. No, I need to get up there. I need to get up there. And I jumped down too soon. Of course I had to jump down too soon. God damn it, Cooper Trooper. Die now. Here you go. A bit of regicide to get you on your way. Oh, come on! Just give me the mushroom! Drugs for Italy, man! And, and uh, uh, other lame jokes. Okay, so now we'll have to time this correctly. There we go! I at least completed one map on screen, so we're gonna go for Outcast next one. And we were... Holy shit, that's very close to the world record. That was awfully close to the world record. God damn it, just a bit of a sec... not even a second. Oh shit. No, we're not going to start over, because I'm not going to get a better time on that one regardless. So... <laughs> no, Nintendo does not round up. Seven ds just like DNG, and NFF. What does the pig say? Grab the moon, um, avoid enemy spam, please enjoy. Skyrim Remastered Remake 2. Of course, it's a hammer brother. Hammer Brothers are my eternal nemesis. I mean, when, sometimes I would like to know what targeting algorithm Nintendo have used for the Hammer Brothers, because god fucking damn it, are they annoying. <laughs> and of course my incessant jumping is also getting the best of me, because if there's something I really should be doing, it's not jump just randomly into things. Whereupon I do just that. Fuck me. Or please don't. <sighs> now I'm just getting sloppy again. I mean the first times I'm the first time I'm playing a level and the first time I I actually get somewhere, and 
after having gotten somewhere just horribly dies. So, come on, jump down. I'm trying to provoke you to jump down. I'm trying to save your life, Hammer Bro. If you just jump... Thank you. If you just jump down, I will spare your life. <laughs> I haven't actually encountered those poison clouds before. Or are they just poison balloons? Reminds me of that that uh, Pokemon that basically is a balloon that takes children and drifts away with them. So we're gonna wait for either the Hammer Bro to jump down or the red spiky turtles to just fuck off. Yes, I have concluded as much that they do like to follow me and I hate them for it. They should not be following me. Okay, so we got through that part. Just nicely. And... No! <laughs> what the hell are the odds? If I had any criticism about this map, it would be that, at least for me, it seems like I'm consistently dying at two specific places. So it feels a bit like it has a specific um, difficulty spike, and uh, such levels are seldom fun to play, because you keep dying at the same time, there's no progression tied into it. Still, it's not a bad one, and the ghosts really provide you with an incentive to just keep moving. <laughs> of course, the time I'm just trying to speed through everything, the balloon just drops down on me. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised to learn that you had basically timed that to a T. And also, the targeting algorithm of the hammer bros are insane. It's like, yeah, let's just throw a hammer into random and then it will hit the player because that's who we are. I mean, if the military had targeting algorithm like the hammer bros or even, or even better, hammer bros on their side, there will probably be less Russia in the Baltic region. The Russians will be like, Oh, look, we're sending a ship into the Baltic. And they're like, Where the fuck are all these hammers coming from? Why d did I drink all that vodka? I'm seeing turtles. And then the hammer bros comes up and sinks their ships and everything is fine. God damn it, I hate the hammer bros with a vengeance. Because they make me do stupid shit. And the stupid shit I do when Hammer Bros are around is hesitate. And if there's something you can't really do in a Mario level, it's actually hesitate. No! God damn it! Wrong way! Come off it! I'm. I tried to jump up to that fucking moon, but it wouldn't let me. It just wouldn't let me. Every time I jump, there's something in the way. That is going- that is going to be my... That is going to be my epitaph for the entire series of Super Mario. If I jump, I die. Yeah, the problem with trying to watch the cycle of the moon is that I'm trying to watch the cycle of literally everything else on the screen. So, I'm going to not get hit by the hammer. I'm going to let the hammer run. Like I said, hammer rows make me hesitate and that makes it horrible. I'm going to give this one more attempt, and hopefully I will not hit the poison sack balloon on the way down. Mm -hmm. 
There we go. So far, so good. Not jumping over giant bus kill. No! I missed that! God damn it! <sighs> oh, wrong button. So, I'm basically going to stop the stream here, but thank you for tuning in. And thank you to Cruxel Esports, who very, very nicely lent me a capture card so I could do this. And uh, I will be probably on tomorrow or later tonight to play more levels. But right now I need to do, you know, adult stuff. Uh, this horrible, horrible life of responsibility. And, you know, cleaning and feeding yourself and everything revolved around that. But we've been on for like 51 minutes. So that has actually been fun. And thank you guys. And I will lead you with... Oh, wait, I haven't even woken him up yet. I really should have woken him up before the stream. And now I feel it's kind of too late to do so. He's been asleep all this time. But uh, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time. And probably will be playing some other horrible, horrible Mario levels. And when I say horrible, I don't mean they're made horrible. I mean that I just feel that I suck at playing Mario. Alright. We'll make one last one then. One last one. Just type the code into the chat and I'll play that, that last one. Since you managed to catch me right in a very good mood. So, okay. Oh, good. We actually got two more levels now. I'm not go- There's no escape for me here. There is no escape. Alright, so I'll play both of them. But in the meantime, I'm gonna introduce you to someone. And let's see if he's awake. Yes, we got John Clark bot on duty. So he's going to play you some music while we wait. Alright, so let's enter the... Since regular Robin type his one in first, we are going for his first. 61S, R6. Yeah, the R61 is really fitting right now. XVF. There is no escape. I am doomed to sit here and play Mario levels because... Oh, of course we're making not found. Did I write something wrong? 61S R6B XVF. Yeah, I mixed that one up. Uh, I actually mixed it up with Tani Bowen's map. So, JLF is the next one. Yeah, I realize that the music is a bit loud, so I will be trying to fix that. Uh, the music in the bot is actually tuned to my Rainbow Six streams, so... Uh, since you can actually trigger the music on commands, I would recommend you against you doing so. Okay, you had to get some groceries, but you ended up in a mine. Find your way out with a world record of five minutes! <laughs> This is this is going to be fun. <laughs> no silly die goombas. <laughs> like I said, there will be no escape for the wicked here and the wicked being Oh great, I have I have to detonate them close to that wall, don't I? And probably by just heading back, I'm fairly certain I am horribly, horribly doomed. And yes, I have seen Spider-Man Far From Home. I actually quite enjoyed it. I saw it yesterday, and uh, after seeing the movie, I picked up the capture card from my associate. 
Okay, so uh, we need to blow this shit. Oh, are you from the Netherlands, or the Czech Republic, or Italy? Because I could, I could imagine if you're from Great Britain, you're used to seeing London in all the movies at this point. Yeah, that that scene was actually pretty brilliant. I heard there was someone complaining like, "Oh, but there's no train station close to there." But hey, it was a nice scene, and you have to. You have to like the, the just the general setting of it. You really just have to do that. So let, oh, come off it. Stop chucking bombs at me. Oh, we threw that entirely in the wrong direction. So I should not handle explosives. That is the that is the lesson we can all learn from me playing this map. I should not handle ex Oh come on! That Goomba placement was so unfair. I'm not really ignorant of Dutch culture, but I'd rather not think about it, no offense. Uh, I once dated a Dutch girl, and uh, not going to go into that topic further. I'm only referring to what the, what another Dutch have told me about the, the train station, but yeah. Uh, basically, my impressions of uh, Far From Home was that Oh, every time I fucking blow that shit. Either way, I adored Far From, Far From Home. I, I liked it even more than I did Homecoming. And I already considered Home... I can't talk about Spider-Man and play at the same time, just saying. Uh, I adored Homecoming. And... Uh, come off it. And uh, I like Far From Home more because it it kept a lot of the si of the central f Spider Man's themes. <laughs> I've never actually been to the Netherlands. I just met met people from the Netherlands, and I do not have any quarrels whatsoever with the Dutch people. Okay, so we need to wait a bit for the next walking horrible bomb. Goomba, stop trying to ruin everything for me. Okay, so we've blown... Not a... Oh, not, but now we're small, so it doesn't matter. Oh, we actually managed to find a little hole, hidey hole here. My eternal nemesis, the death blocks. I'm gonna give this a couple of more tries and then I'll jump on to the other levels. So, god damn it. Silly Goomba, go and die. I don't want to have to throw you somewhere. Most likely I'll have to do that anyway, but. Why is that Goomba the only thing that's left alive? God damn it. Like I said, I have absolutely nothing against the Dutch people. Um, my differences with a particular Dutch person is nothing that I talk about. And um, yeah. So instead of talking about it, I'm going to go to 20, uh, 20 Bowens level here. Uh, the one that we messed up with the other one. So 4D, 6, 3TL, 3LF, sorry, 3LT, 
as in uh, as in lieutenant uh, and xvf just like x-wing versus tie fighter okay only open the door and don't move from the back this is an auto mario short and sweet and let's go Let me tell you, I'm from Sweden, we have mountains, they're overrated. All you have to do is go up, up them, and... <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but I did not expect to be fucking yeeted. I did not expect to be yeeted away from my position, and then automatically win the level. I mean, this is a... Oh, we got a first clear. Let's start over and see... I need to see one thing about this, and that is, I need to see if there's any way I can fuck this up. And yes, there was a way I could fuck this up. But basically, if I understand this correctly, all you need to do basically here... Oh, it was luck! It was pure fucking luck! <laughs> as far as I can tell, that was literally just luck either that or it was basically your little troll <laughs> yeah since i actually beat that one the first one i beat today aside from the course by my mate so uh in fact i we had flug dig for funden that sounds danish uh so uh his map is actually before yours so we're gonna play that one but if it's a Danish, then we are going to have some honest-to-God bickering in this chat. H41 and WRG. Yes, he's from Denmark. Curse Denmark! Builder Mario got stuck in Bowser's castle. Will he be able to get out? No. I'm going to say that. No. There is no way I'm leaving this Mario. Reach the goal as builder, Mario. Fly games, Denmark. Okay, so I have no idea what builder Mario does. Or if he just have a hammer or... I need to... I think I need to spend more time with the story mode of this game. Uh, I'm from Sweden. And if you are unfamiliar with uh, the history of Sweden and Denmark... Uh, basically, what happens is happened is that Sweden and Denmark has a record. And that record is... Uh, oh, that's actually quite nice. I can just stand here throwing them all day. It's all dissatisfying. Either way, to cut it to cut it short, uh, to cut it short, uh, Sweden and Denmark has um, a record in most wars fought between them, and to this day, Swedes and Danes are not really fans of each other. Fans of each other. So there, there, there's basically the history. Ah. Yes, so basically Sweden and Denmark had a, had a ton of wars fought between them, and while uh, the relations between the actual nations is very cool... I can't actually throw these things in a decent manner, so yeah. Uh, but I'm gonna have to draw the limit here, so Phoenicians will be the last one I play, but... Uh, but at any rate, uh, one fun thing about the Dutch involvement in in the wars between Sweden and Denmark is that basically uh, the Dutch wanted free access to the uh, to the sound between Sweden and Denmark. So what they did, they they would switch sides. They would basically change sides. Oh come on! They would basically change sides depending on um, 
Yes, I'm trying to build a wall. I'm trying to build a Trump wall, and Trump walls doesn't work, goddammit. We already had this discussion about walls and how they don't work. And suddenly you want me to build a wall? God damn it. I'm not the president of the United States. Apparently I have limited boxes at my disposal. God damn it. So yeah, I'm gonna go for Fedicians once because I do actually really have to do other stuff. Uh, so, Fedicians will be the last one. Sorry if you're just tuning in, but that, that is the way that it will have to be. <laughs> so, let's see here. 8GQ. At least I don't have the issues I had yesterday. Basically, I'm running a wireless headset here. And it kept turning itself off. Because the headset requires audio to actually come through the headset. So I had to disable the um, the uh, power management system out of it. It's not a difficult thing to do. So Escape the room. Jungle room. World record 2 minutes with a clear rate of 17 from Fraden. Actually, you have more than a wall. As far as I understand, the management system of the... Uh, the, the dams and uh, water management systems in uh, the Netherlands is quite advanced. Uh, built... Okay, so... We're not going all the way up there. Okay, so apparently that did not take us where we needed to go. Most... This could be... Yeah, honestly. Someone does not like this map, judged by the comments. Yeah, this is... Th I'm feeling like I'm being trolled here, but I'm f perfectly fine with that at this point. Apparently, we need to actually defeat... ...four of those uh, piranha plants. But I don't think we can do so... Yeah, I'm gonna start over. And see if uh, there's... <laughs> yeah, so I don't think we... C I don't think there is any other way for us to do this. Rather than... Uh, to just climb this. But the... Oh, wait. What happens if we enter through the bottom? Because we hadn't actually done that. Oh, well, uh, of course, if we just go through the bottom doors, all that happens is that we emerge from the top doors. So... <laughs> okay, right door, left pipe, left pipe. We are gonna start over, and we are actually gonna use that tip. Just to see if... Uh, how much it's... Right door, left pipe, left pipe. I think I understand what's going on here, and if if it's if it's that, yes, it was go. Uh, if you didn't catch on to what was going on, and I sh certainly didn't before the tip, uh, what was going on is that. The rooms only looked similar, but it wasn't actually the same room. At least if I understood the, the thing correctly. And that is actually quite brilliant. Try using, my, uh, using how I see a map. 
and basically pretending like, no, all that's happened is that you return to the same place. And that is actually a quite neat thing to do. That's excellent map design. Of course, I'm going to horribly die here, but that is not that that has nothing to do with the actual map. That has something to do with the fact that I got down it. No, <laughs> got down it. I gotta give this another try. So ha thank you for tuning in, Autocast Self. Uh, but like I said, this is going to be the last one. But even if I don't think I can finish this one. But this one is definitely one I will be referring to one of my puzzle bros. He is uh, the guy who keeps making novelty puzzle maps. And he will like this one. I can definitely for sure say that he will like this one. And I will just link him the code. I will not link him this VOD. Because uh, I want him to experience this. Uh, from a fresh angle. Okay, that's two less to worry about. Progress. Yeah, uh, I've, unfortunately we can't actually go anywhere after, uh, since we really needed to take out, out the piranha plants, we didn't do that. But, like I said, I do like this, so I'm gonna add a like to it, and uh, I'm gonna exit the course, and then I'm going to send it to my mate. So, let's just take a print screen of that, so I can send it to him, and then we will once again, make another attempt at s stopping the stream, because I just did one of those attempts. But this time it's for real, so please do not write any more codes in the chat. You will probably do so anyway, because you have been so far insisted on actually staying in this chat, for which I am eternally grateful. It has been really nice to play with you guys and try out your maps, so this has been really fun, but... I need to get going. So, m I will most likely be back tomorrow, or maybe even later tonight, but if I play later tonight, most likely some other Switch game. Might do uh, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, or something like that. A bit, a bit more relaxed. So, take care, and once again, thanks to Cruxel Esports for helping me out with the card. I'm going to put down a link to him right there and if you liked what you saw just send him a message on twitter and thank him for loaning me this sweet sweet card take care